Sabira, could you please tell me a little about the uh, origins of the Peace Banner and Nicholas Rolex? Well, uh, this, uh, this, uh, the, the uh, um, initial idea of this banner, it seems to me uh, this idea came to uh, Nicholas Rolex while he was in uh, Mongolia yeah. and uh, this uh, three dots, three holes or circles uh, has a very very early ancient history. Uh, the genesis of this emblem might be uh, the old Mongolian um, three so-called three circles which had been depicted, uh, drawn on the um, uh, stone, or on the rocks, um, all Mongolian rocks, uh, of the period, at least Neolithic period, long, long ago. And it seems to me, uh, uh, while uh, Nikos Eric was in Mongolia, he has seen these uh, stone drones and uh, so uh, I think, I believe that uh, he uh, took, uh, this idea came to his mind while he was in Mongolia and he uh, took these uh, three thoughts for, as an emblem for peace. Uh, but originally, these three thoughts uh, mean, meant uh, uh, Tengri, Katsar, Humu. That means heaven, earth, men. That's in modern terminology is a cosmos, planet, and humankind, men. So, the original idea of George Rurik's peace banner was taken from this old Mongolian methodology. Uh, and it is originated from this uh, stone throne, uh, th throne in Mongolia, mm, three dots. So he and took this as a universal symbol? And it has become a universal symbol. It will become symbol of peace on earth. And while his uh, peace treaty was uh, signed in the United States, and after many countries joined to this pact, this emblem became a worldwide uh, peace emblem. And so, I would say, sh uh, in short, uh, uh, the Mongolian old three thoughts have become an emblem of world peace and that's why I'm very happy to say this story as a Mongol I'm very proud of <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. symbolism of the peace banner and how it is tied to Mongolian shamanism. Yeah, and the story of this uh, three thoughts uh, was reflected, I would say, in 
shamanistic uh, evocations and uh, devoted to fire, and so-called fire shamanistic evocation. It is said in this evocations, shamanistic evocations, Kumun Tengri Kazar Korone Hut Sul Poim Kishki Kurum Irut Pitundar Husle Husle Ugun Saira. That means in my bad English interpretation, bless us we as we wish with the power, with the genus and with the prosperity of the triad of men, sky, and earth. Yeah. And uh, this uh, thesis was also expressed in written documents, for instance, in old Turks inscription. Y you will find in old Turks inscription the following. When there appeared blue sky, above and uh, black earth uh, under it, there appeared mankind between these two, something like this. When it appeared blue sky and grey earth underneath, there appeared men between them. Something like this, yeah. And so, uh, uh, Rurikus peace emblem has a very, very long history, ancient history, I would say. Originated from the uh, cosmological understanding of ancient nomadic peoples in Mongolia. I'm very proud of. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.